I just got off the phone to Alex about some loan from Ashley. Want to fill me in? I want you off Kalani. And don't even think of coming back. You can't do that. I've got Bryce's power of attorney. I know about you and Phil and what you're doing to drivers. In case you don't remember, Grace saved your life. That was business. I needed the money. Crap. Don't even pack your bags. I'll send them on. Marcus, you're overreacting. I will pick you up, dump you in the truck, and take you back to Melbourne myself if I have to. Bryce won't be happy about this. Well, that makes two of us. Go on, say it. You warned me. Look on your face was enough. Make sure she goes. Yeah. Two eyes, important bits in the right place. So why the big rush to sell? Just needed to free up some extra cash. Figured you'd be interested. Okay, fifteen thousand. Oh, come on. He's worth at least 20. Check out his bloodlines. Mm, maybe, but I got a feeling you need the cash. Take it or leave it. Mm. Okay, Heath, you got yourself a deal. You organize the paperwork. You transfer the money. Nice doing business with you. Right. Mm. You reckon Grace is going to be happy about you bailing her out? That's why I'm not telling her. Stuff straight out to the paddock. What's this? The money you owe? I'm not going to let Ashley destroy you. Now, we both know Grace is too proud to accept it, so you have to take care of it. Well, what am I going to tell her? Anything you can get away with. Just don't tell her it was me. Oh, thank you. We will pay you back every cent with interest. Thanks, Marcus. Paul. Oh. Thank you! Thanks! Oh. Do you feel bad about your sister or is blood thicker than water? I'm taking care of it. Not that it's any of your bloody business. She put Grace into debt. Well, I was taking care of that too, until you cancelled the sale. Well, maybe if you told me what you were doing instead of sneaking around, then drovers wouldn't have the problem. Come on, Heath. Test your strength here, test your manhood. Gold coin donation to play. One on one? Ten bucks extra, yeah. You're on. Done. You must be gagging to lose again. The reenactment's rigged. This is a real competition. <laughs> Take the slack. Steady. Oh. Oh. Sticking your nose in where it's not wanted, aren't you? You're the one with loads of cash. Thought you'd be able to buy her out of trouble. Good luck living happily ever after. Stuff this. I'll see what I can do. G'day, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the fair. Thanks for sticking around for the farm auction. OK, let's get started. Uh, item number one is the angle grinder. Near and you hardly been used. We're going to open the bidding at $50. $50. Do I hear $50? Yep. $50 over here. OK, let's go to $100. $100. $100. Anyone bid $100? Come on, it's worth at least $200. How about half that? Uh, keep your hand down, Neil. Get a bargain if you keep the prices low. OK, what about $70? Anyone want to bid $70? Come on, pull your finger out. Grace doesn't want me to bail her out. It's insane. Oh, come on, there's got to be someone out there. $70. Come on, is this an auction or not? You've had your bid. Get on with it. OK. Going once. Going twice. Sold for $50 to Marcus. Thank you. 50 bucks. Something's going on. Yep, and Phil's got something to do with it. It looks way too smug. Fair enough. Any more 
beats. Any more beads? Going once, going twice. Sold to Marcus Turner again. Come on, you lot. I can't buy everything. All right. No more beating around the bush. Drovers is having a tough time. Everybody knows it. And if you don't, I reckon this sale pretty much screams it. But this is decent stuff. We don't want a handout. All we're asking is a fair price. So where's your support? Two hundred on the post hole digger. Okay, we've got two hundred over here. Two hundred. Three hundred. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, come on, Phil. It's not right. Five hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Any more bids? Any more bids? Going once. Going twice. That's all I got, Moira. Oh, to Neil Thompson for six hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. That was our last item. We're still 6,000 short of what we owe Ashley. Oh, we don't have anything left to sell. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, there is still one item left to auction, and that item is me. The winner of this item gets to joust Grace McLeod. If I win, I get to keep the money. If you win, I pay you. <laughs> $5,000. No arguments. Any more bids? Any more bids? Going once, going twice. Hang on. 6000 If I can choose my own champion. Make a 10 and you're on. All right, then. 10,000 big ones. And I choose the Black Knight. Oh. Oh. Black Knight. Bring it on. Maybe we can plead insanity, get you out of this. It's the Middle Ages. I'll be burned at the stake. You know, there's a good chance you could get hurt. Very badly. Please tell me that's not a prediction. You don't have to do this, Grace. We'll find the money somewhere. There's no time. I can't back out now. Good luck. See you down there. Be safe. You here to talk me out of it? Oh, I'm starting to realise that'd be a waste of time. I'm just here to give you some basic tips. But don't close your eyes. It's easy to do, but you won't hit cleanly. Use your legs, keep your horse tight to the rail, aim for the chest and don't let the tip of the lance waver. Knights ready! Checkbook out, Phil. Great hit, partner. That was the most stupid, reckless, unbelievable thing I've ever seen you do. And that's saying something. I aim to please. Your aim was good. You're an amazing woman, Grace McLeod. What, you only just figured that out? No, I already knew it. Just didn't want you to get a big head. <laughs> Grace. I might go and see if there's any mead left over. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs>